scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. John was revealing something very powerful and he told us in chapter 1 of John and I think verse 14 he says the word became flesh remember from verse 1 he says in the beginning was the word are we still together and the word was with God and the word was God he says the same was with God in the beginning and he says through him was everything you know made and without him was not anything made that was made and then you read down and the Bible says from verse 14 I, I hope I get it right the word became flesh the word locked up in the realm of the heavens needed to find expression in this domain of god's kingdom but then the bible says for the saints to behold that glory that is locked up in the invisible realm that word had to become flesh that means that there was a system of giving it expression are we together please keep that scripture only when the word be became flesh did we behold his glory? So you cannot behold the glory when it is left in the realm of the spirit. You will know that it is glorious. But to behold that expression, there must be a system of making it flesh. It says the glory as of the begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. So John is teaching us that everything God intends to be made manifest in this realm and everything the saints intend to be made manifest in this realm it will take the partnership of the ministry of the spirit and then it will take the bride who will agree like a submissive wife with her husband it will take the husband and the wife to birth anything are we together now and that in this case the bride must first accept that she is a bride when the bible says the spirit and the bride say come it's not in the talking is first the admission that you are a bride there are implications for being a bride wives he says if you agree you are a bride then the hallmark of your bridehood is submission is god speaking to us now so we are talking about the system that is responsible for manifestation he is not just talking about two people the spirit and a human being saying the word come no that human being speaking as a man will not get anything it is only when that man becomes a bride that he can partner with the spirit to tell the word come so your first assignment is not to say lord your kingdom come your first assignment is to become a bride it is the spirit and the bride that can ask the word to come not the spirit and a man are we together and to become a bride would require total submission it was the bible that says wives he said submit yourselves to your own husbands paul was teaching the church in ephesus in everything not some things not the things you want not the things you desire not the things that are convenient so submission much more than gender is what really makes a person a bride in the spirit because you see in the realm of the spirit everyone is a woman everyone is a bride the bible calls the church his entire church irrespective of gender the bride of christ hallelujah women have come as an, an adumbration of how the church should be 
and so you can study the woman as a spiritual system that helps you understand the church he personifies his idea in an entity and he calls her woman are we still together that means i can stand even though filled with the holy spirit and i say in the name of jesus let breakthroughs come in the name of jesus let doors open merely because i saw it in scripture the first system of vetting in the realm of the spirit is who is speaking until you are a bride that word cannot come i hope we're, we're making sense now that it is the spirit and a human who goes through the sacrifice of submission to make himself or herself a bride that can authorize the word to come so i can look at the results in your life and know whether you are truly a bride because if you are a bride the jealousy of your husband is invested in your desire the spirit and the bride say healing come so the spirit says healing come and the bride echoes on earth healing come and healing comes are we together now the spirit says breakthrough come and he waits for his bride to echo it too that means god has been saying many things in the realm of the spirit but where is the bride that will answer back lifting come and there is no bride but there are men speaking come grow increase advance and the law is violated it takes brides to speak let me show you how brides prepare themselves when you go to esther chapter 2. oh dear i wish we had time tonight in the book of esther the bible tells us about a strange man called ahasuerus are we still together that vashti was banished and there was a need for someone to occupy that position and young virgins were called from everywhere and mordecai attempted his little niece called hadassah to attempt from shushan to see if peradventure she would be able to win the king's heart and then the bible says all the virgins were kept under the custody of a man called Hegai, the keeper of the king's virgins are we together now and then the bible says that Haggai called esther and gave her a formula he said i've worked with the king for many years i know what the king wants don't mind what these women are doing they are all speaking and everybody believes the king will like them but you come to the one who can search the heart of the king what did paul say that no man knows the heart of a man except the spirit that is in that man and so he said I will give you some aloes and I will give you some ointments. Keep rubbing them on your body for one year. After one year, go to the king. And the Bible says she continued to engage with that ointment. And when she passed the king, Esther chapter 2 verse 17, please give it to us. The Bible says, and the king loved Esther more than, that means before she came, there were others he was considering. But as soon as she showed up, he loved her more than other women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so he set a royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of vashti don't lose what we're teaching that it is the spirit and the bride that says come are we together you know the the extent of the extent of the truthfulness of a woman's relationship with her husband by the speed with which she responds in backing whatever she says let me give you an instance if um a woman has a husband who owns a company if she speaks on behalf of that company and say i donate 10 naira even if she does not have that money for the sake of his jealousy over her the husband will come to see to it that her integrity is protected are we together now that means every time we speak and there is no performance there is a marriage issue to settle between you and that husband <laughs> because when all things are well we expect that the jealousy of the man should come to back you so when you say be healed why are you left alone 
it means there is there is a marriage issue that we need to settle and the bible already tells us the integrity of that husband he already proved his love by dying he sent a spirit to represent his ministry now the spirit is there faithful waiting for you to showcase your bridehood to the world but one thing is lacking are you a bride indeed wives he says love your husbands or submit to your husbands in everything do you know that the formula for resisting the devil is not even shouting read what james told us he said submit yourselves are we together now you, you see it again so submit yourselves and then he says resist the devil from the standpoint of that submission to submit means to bring your strength under control to submit means to bring your worth under the authority of another now is a very ego stinging process but the excellency that follows cannot be compared wives submit yourselves to your own husbands and then you stand as a faithful bride and you can now begin to echo that which the spirit is saying so when the spirit says this family captivity ends you stand as the bride and say you may not see this husband but i stand representing him family be free and you your job is to echo and allow the power and the strength of the one who calls himself your husband to be introduced in the scene that means everyone who walks is not walking alone there is an invisible husband that backs you the excellency of his power and authority is demonstrated in your submission and then when you speak hallelujah pastor opie made a statement here while she was just setting the stage to introduce me and she said thank god for my husband he said he gave us access to his house to use it anyhow i said that's my message that's right i i may not own the house i may not have that authority but i have the leverage of the eternal love of a man i can i can take him for granted and yet he will just look at me and be happy he's not even concerned about his his i have become the object of his passion and he has made himself vulnerable with no shame let me tell you something the bible is a compendium of god's helplessness about his love for men to the point that the psalmist said i have a question i i have studied the environment i've studied them. what is man have you lost your creativity can't you create another species that this man will leave you alone insult you tear you down you will leave him and while the worship of heaven is going on your vulnerability starts betraying you and you now start sending a prophet go to that man and say let's talk i have loved you he said with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my kindness listen when you understand the one who married you there is a level of confidence it will give you So when you stand before a situation, even though you look at your weakness as a person, suddenly your confidence is restored. There is a responsible husband who is the monarch of the universe that stands to back me. The, the issue is not vetting his love. The issue is vetting my submission. How, have I come under that covering enough to authorize his word? to come to pass in my life listen this is a very powerful formula because behind great people is an invisible but jealously loving god who is a husband indeed nobody sustains the power to produce certain results on earth without a spiritual backing whether it is demonic or it is um spiritual like towards god now there is a threshold level of impact you cannot go beyond as a mere man unassisted no no hallelujah when a woman gets married 
they celebrate her and after a few weeks everybody is just looking for signs what signs are they looking for as a testament so when people begin to look at your life you claim you are married you claim your husband is a responsible man where are the signs they begin they give you some time you may say we're taking our time that's all right i mean you can invent a formula for how you want to but after two years after three years someone is now authorized to call you and say are you sure everything is did you fight with your husband do you have a health condition because there should be signs now when you tell me you've been married for 10 years i have a right to say show me the signs there should be an evidence if not children pregnancy i'm speaking prophetically you understand what i'm saying yes what we are celebrating today is an evidence that spiritually speaking pastor opie and her husband have stood as brides their submission the validity of their submission is what we celebrate today because when she spoke and said the doors of your destiny will open there was a jealous husband who came fiercely to say where is the where is the devil that will stop that door from opening our confidence is not based on our strength in the flesh our confidence is based on the jealousy of the husband that we represent he has indoctrinated us with the awareness of his love that i have loved you with an everlasting love it is on the strength of that confidence we can stand to echo what we hear so if he says in this tenth year you are rising we dare to repeat after him that in this tenth year rise and then we leave you face to face with the power of the one who sent us please understand this formula and you will never fear situations and circumstances again the spirit and the bride say come the spirit and the bride say the next 10 years is guaranteed and you will speak it the spirit and the bride says no evil will come and prevail over your life the real assignment is not doubting the integrity of god the real assignment is to find out have i been a faithful bride we are going to pray have i been a faithful bride can i truly say my submission is in place are we together now yes jesus himself when he walked upon the earth he said i can of my own do nothing i know that you celebrate all the great things that i continue to do but it is not i have i have derobed myself of that majesty I am being influenced by one who connects me to the Father. With God, all things are possible. When women pray, let me tell you this. There is no limit to what God can do in your life. There is no limit to where he can take you. Every time you see a great man and you see a great woman, just know you saw a submissive bride. That's why when pastor lies down and rolls on the ground they are not doing it to you she's she's reminding that supernatural husband that i am still faithful and loyal even though you've lifted me i will not make the mistake of vashti vashti made a mistake that cost her I, are we together now yes sir. the mistake of vashti was she forgot that she was only queen because she married a king it was not an invention of her own power listen this is a message i want you to understand vasty if you ever create a camp for yourself outside of the influence of ahazeros you are gone esther wanted to make the same mistake but mordecai sent a message and said be careful someone was there before you someone's carelessness was what created space for you to come and if you are careless god will exit you and another will come and esther said i will not make that mistake i am an advocate i represent something a woman used submission to kill her man she never used a sword yet she killed every enemy there is power in weakness weakness is what kills strength 
when you see weak people fear them they are dangerously powerful in this kingdom it takes weakness to defeat strength the strength of god does not look for strength when it comes and finds strength it lifts away it's looking for weakness the weakness of submission so the earlier you told god i am weak the more you are you are attracting his strength lord i don't have the power to build that house I cannot build a ministry by my strength i don't have enough intelligence so i submit to you i'm not ashamed that my knees touch the ground if that is the requirement of my bridehood so be it and while the world is mocking you and say keep being a fool there yeah, god says clear the way let me show them the person you are worshiping let me show them that jealousy is the rage of a man A bride is not a female a bride is the one who chooses to submit hmm. so when we stand by the privilege of his grace while you clap for us we are wise enough to know that there is a powerful force behind us and we are quick to usher you and say uh -uh, let that applaud not stop here there is a real responsible husband and i am obligated to point you to him while you say you are a miracle worker a sign and wonder producer the temptation of the mistake of vashti starts coming let it stop at you build an empire around that praise while king ahasuerus watches let me show you why great people do not last they forget they were brides the temptation of the spotlight is very misleading. I celebrate your pastor again and again because of the wisdom, the culture she has created to always remind you that it is God who that deserves that praise. You know, sometimes I watch the things that people say about me they send me all kinds of text messages you are a great man you're this i'm happy i love them but when i go to the place of prayer mm, esther i remember the foolishness of vashti then i find myself quickly and i said who can open a door that god did not authorize i remember let me show somebody this is why you may be struggling in spite of your prayer in spite of your speaking are you speaking as vashti or esther because both of them spoke when you lay hands on the sick and say be healed as what as the miracle worker the sign producer the one who wants to make a name and heaven says you broke the rule it is the spirit and the bride that says John 17, let's round up. Parousia salanda caparousia te. In my life, be glorified, be glorified. In this place, be glorified, be glorified. You get the glory, you get the praise. You take the honor, I just want to say thank you. You get the glory, you get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. Listen. The Bible tells us about this man called Yeshua. You call him Jesus. He walked upon the streets. And within the span of three years, this man made such, he, he literally shook the Roman Empire. Those guys did not know what to do. The entire crowds and the entire nation was following him. And then 
when he got to john 17 please give it to us from verse 1 the prayer of jesus he spoke these words lifted up his eyes to heaven and said this is the grand formula you want to see the presence and the power of god in your life your business and your ministry here it is father the hour has come and even though we are equal i submit myself to you as a bride glorify your son to the end that your son may bring glory to you i have learned a bit about god there is no withholding of his power when there is an assurance that the glory will return to him do you know why you keep your money in the bank without fear ease of withdrawal that's it that you can go to the atm anytime and slot in your atm and your money will come out the moment you are sure that your money will not come out you will remove your money there so if god deposits glory and grace and he's sure that at any time he calls for it it will return as his you will see a dimension of power and grace and wealth and increase that you have never seen while we worship him he's not carried away remember he's the ancient of days he still has an advantage of age he he has studied men through different dispensations and he has archived the deception that is in the hearts of men so while we are saying god lift me god bless me give me an estate he says no someone said this already before you were born and when i gave him something he turned against me so let me vet the purity of your worship So the Bible says it this way, Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech thee, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye offer yourselves, not your songs, yourself, as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. He calls it your reasonable or acceptable act of worship. So when you sing, when you give, when you do whatever you do, your heart condition is the tray that carries your worship your heart condition is the tray that carries your seeds your heart condition is the tray that carries your service and if that heart condition is not right nothing on it will be valuable but let me tell you something people of god my god is able to do just what he says he will do hey. He's got a fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you. He's able. That's the God that we worship. That when we truly become brides in the spirit, there is no limit to His ability upon our life. Oh, 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 Hear me. Do not allow your pain and your limitation redefine God to you. He's proven his integrity through dispensations. God is fearfully dependable. It is our inability to understand his system, the protocol that manifests spiritual things. I tell you it is not because God cannot bring the car. It is not because God cannot give you influence. It's not because God cannot give you the position. When you get into that covenant of marriage, that I will be a bride and I will remain the bride, whether in Shushan or before Ahasuerus, I remain the bride. God says the deal is done. Anything you hear the Spirit speak, speak it to. And the Bible says all scripture were inspired of the Holy Ghost. It says holy men wrote. They were, it was under the inspiration of the Spirit. So when I open this garden of mysteries and I see it here, 
that no man shall be able to stand against you all the days of your life when i look at it here and it says in psalms 112 blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth then he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever i hear the spirit so i close it and i switch to the prayer mode this is my echo lord you said this i declare my children are blessed i declare the works of my hands are blessed now i'm not praying as a prayer warrior i am praying as a bride i'm going to call on some brides to pray in the next few minutes if if, 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 if you you have to be a bride to participate in this prayer session Don't give up on God Cause He will give up on you He's able. Hallelujah Listen to me This God that we serve Is not a theory That was preserved by preachers No our inability to understand his ways can redefine him in a way that is not marketable our context and our experience can give god an identity that is false this is why when god finds a people that are aligned to his ways he will guard them with his jealousy because there are not many that are willing to go that far to represent him correctly when god found this great ministry i can tell you and it is not by prophecy why god continues to honor your pastor this matriarch of faith and god continues to lift this ministry here is a secret he has found a space in when women pray where his glory and his purposes continue to be advanced without the interruption of ego without the interruption of flesh the outspoken vulnerability to make the world know that Jesus is the reason for this. When Satan wants to destroy you, he doesn't attack you. He brings you in a position where the spiritual protocol is broken. So he leaves you with the laws to fight you. And you cannot win against the laws. The only thing that can veto the laws are the mercy of God. I tell you why you can sow a seed and yet be going down. I tell you why you can even be praying in the morning. It is the prayer of the bride, the spirit and the bride. Businessman, hear me. You have been praying and doing what you are doing as an intelligent businessman. I respect it. An intelligent businesswoman. But try being a bride and see the power of marriage and what it can do. You submitted the contract as an intelligent, wonderful, experienced woman who read well. I salute you. But go back as a bride, protected by the jealousy of your, her husband, and watch what God can do. My God. Creator of the universe, what can you do? Hey, what can you do, Jesus? Are there people of faith in this place? You're the name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change, Jesus? You are able. Great and mighty God, you are able, Jesus. We're going to take that song from the top again. Listen. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Let your faith rise. The name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? Jesus. You 
are Sing it and see God rising for you in this 10th anniversary. Sing that song over your rent issue. Sing that song over the court case. Sing that song over the barrenness issue. Sing that song over the marriage issue. Kabarus Kabaranta Celebata. The brides are about to pray. You are able, say, you are able. Great and mighty God, you are able. Sing that song over your health, over the doctor's report. Who will say a thing and it shall come to pass? When the husband, the Lord, Yahweh, has not declared it. Sing it over your career. Sing it over your spiritual life. Sing it over your finances. Sing it over this ministry. And the spirit and the bride say come. Please listen to me. Jeremiah chapter 29 and then verse 11. Hear what the husband says. I know the thoughts that I think. That means I am thinking about you. Never forget that. I'm not thinking about heaven. Even though heaven is my throne, the earth my footstool. Don't mistake the glamour of heaven to think that is my obsession. I am there. But I am thinking about you. When women pray, I am thinking about you. And I am not ashamed to let you into my thoughts. The thoughts that I think towards you are thoughts that make for peace. And not of evil. That means never suspect my intention. Do not mistake any evil and accrue it to me. I am thinking about you. But it's not enough to know I'm thinking about you. I need to tell you the content of my thoughts. They are thoughts of peace and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end. So that becomes a compass of your confidence. You know then that he's thinking about me. He's thinking about my lifting. When you stand before any mountain, you know God is thinking about me. We're about to pray when women pray not just when women discuss not just when women when women pray can we spend even if it is just two or three minutes to pray because there are things the bride is saying in this conference there are things the bride i mean the spirit is already saying that he's lifting that he's blessing that he's bringing favor did the spirit not say when men say there is a casting down he says thou bride thou bride remember remember there is a lifting up but he's waiting for you the reality has been spoken in the realm of the spirit the earth is waiting for the echo of the bride the echo of the bride speak let me show you where that happened and then we'll pray ezekiel 37 the bible says ezekiel was taken to a valley the valley had bones and he said they were very dry meaning they had been there a very long time you would think that the bones were non-living everything looks dead until the bride speaks and then he said son of man can these bones can this marriage can this situation live again even the prophet said only thou knowest i'm used to the realm of the spirit but as far as this condition is concerned you are the only one who can give a verdict on it and he said let me teach you something prophesy it's amazing that even though the spirit was saying prophesy the bones did not respect the words they kept quiet he said you 
echo what I just told you. Prophesy to these bones. And he said, now I prophesied not as I wished. I prophesied under submission. I was given an instruction and I subscribed to that bridehood as commanded. And the bone said, you got it right. Bones began to be formed. Listen, everything you are looking for is also looking for you. Hear me, let me repeat it. Everything you are looking for, as far as the purposes of God over your life is concerned, is also looking for you. When the prodigal son was looking for his father, he did not know his father was also looking for him. He didn't meet the father at home and the father did not meet him with the pigs. They met somewhere in the journey. So the breakthrough you are looking for has been going around this city searching for you. But every time it comes, it finds a human being, not a bride. So it goes back and keeps searching. The anointing, the unction for the next level has been searching. Sent from heaven, but it's not yet found a vessel that is a bride enough. You are able. You're the great and mighty God. You are able. Jesus. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on, people of prayer. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare at this 10th anniversary that the grace for total submission to the Spirit of God, to the Word of God, may that grace rest upon me. Please lift your voice and begin to pray. Pray passionately, pray with fire. The grace, the grace to return as a bride indeed under the influence of a jealous husband a mighty one at that lift your voice and pray grace the unashamedness to submit to that authority the unashamedness to declare that i can of my own do nothing the unashamedness to admit that everything in my life minus god is ashes and is vain are there people of prayer here? Shalatos kapranda ta shalakata prahasia. Jepros kebatu jazekete. Embratas kaparuko to shoto predekete. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare my oneness with Christ through the Spirit of God. This is the basis of my authority. Therefore, I speak to creation. Hear and respect my voice. Lift your voice and begin to pray. I don't speak as one in isolation to His grace. I speak as one who is in unity. Unity with the Christ. Unity with the Spirit. The basis of my authority, the basis of my my the audacity over creation. Please lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Please look at me. Hallelujah. Right where you are. We are going to pray. I like you to lift your hands and you are going to begin to speak to creation. Realign yourself and work out the purposes of God in my life in this season. I don't care what power manipulated you against my destiny. I lift my hands as a faithful bride and I begin to make decrees. Job said, declare ye that thou mightest be justified. If someone praying, lift your voice. Begin to speak to the elements of creation. I command that you hear the word of the Lord. Realign yourself for my favor. In the name of Jesus, realign yourself. Come on now. When women pray, are you prophesying to the north? Are you speaking to the south? Are you speaking to the east? Are you speaking to the west? I compel obedience. I compel obedience to the counsel of God. I speak to the north. 
I speak to the elements of the creation. Joshua spoke to the sword. He said, stand still. Moon, reverse and stand 10 degrees. Go ahead and pray. I prophesy. I decree as a faithful bride, authorized by my covenant with God. I command the realignment of the heavens in the name of Jesus. I command the realignment of the heavens in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, please listen to me. Every next level in your life depends on your encounter with men. Somebody in this city, somebody on earth right now is responsible for the answer to your prayer. Listen. If God says yes and a man on earth says no, the yes will remain in the realm of the spirit. It will take someone to say yes right here. I know that, <laughs> listen, when God wanted to help men, he did not become a warrior. He became a man to come and help men. Today he's seated at the throne. He can't intercede as God. So he remained a man so that he can still advocate for men. Only men can be used to help men even God did not disobey that law <laughs> we live in a world that ignores men and we respect God and we pay for it with the circles of tragedies that happen right now as I'm speaking to you your prayer request is in the power of someone we are going to invoke there is a grace that compels men to honor men. It's called the Esther anointing. Esther chapter 2 verse 15. You are able, great and mighty God. You are able, Jesus. Please read the B part from the last full stop. And Esther, are we ready? One to read. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many? All who did what? There is a grace that when it comes on you, only blind people ignore you. For as long as they have eyes, the grace is connected to sight. Except they don't see you. There is an ability of the spirit. Please believe what I'm telling you. These are the mysteries of the kingdom. You don't just like people like that. No. There is a grace that anoints my head with oil. The result shows in my cup. You don't anoint my cup, you anoint my head. Listen. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. We're praying, we're rounding up. Exodus 3 and 21. Let's read it together if you are a Christian. One, two, read. And I will give these people favor in the what? There you see it again. Everywhere you see favor, you see sight. In the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall be that when you go, that you shall not go empty. Emptiness has an explanation. There is an explanation to an empty hand. An empty destiny. Listen. You love your pastor not just because she's a woman of god there is a grace on her so it doesn't matter whether it's in us whether it's in uk people this world is too wicked for people to love you by default let me tell you sincerely nobody will get up and invest his jealousy and attention on your life for nothing hear me politicians hear me business people hear me believers these are the mysteries of the kingdom And that grace is what is about to come on your life now. Anything that does not have proofs is nonsense. There must be clear results in your life that you can say in this 10th year, I came to church without this grace. Now I'm returning with it. And my life can prove that something came on my life. Do you believe what I'm sharing? 
without the favor of God life is very hard listen you've heard me say the proof of favor is not money you don't need favor to have money you just need to be diligent and to provide value turn it into products and services that are needed and useful but the proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men when men love you and can come to stand with you because it is in the multitude of men not treasure is the king's honor when men stand with you to represent the purposes of god it is proof that the favor of god is on you are we ready to pray father in the name of jesus i decree and declare that from today henceforth the grace that makes for favor let it come upon my life my children my husband my wife my family lift your voice and begin to pray please lift your voice and pray let it be from the depth of your heart i obtain that grace i obtain that grace i obtain that grace Shanas Kabaranda Shalakatos. I obtain that grace. I obtain that grace. I obtain that grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point, and we're done. Ten is not just the perfection of men, but it also ends cycles and begins new cycles. Are we together? The number ten is prophetic and symbolic, not only because it explains the perfection of men. But that it can begin seasons the number 10 is a door in the spirit it closes seasons and opens others are we together please understand what i share with you and we are going to pray because in the last 10 years for many of us it's not everything god said that happened so we are going to take them forward and force them to happen with speed the secret that restores lost years is speed. Speed is a possibility in the kingdom. When the devil wants to waste your destiny, he does not waste resources. He eats years. Time. Time. When you lose time, you've lost everything. So we're going to pray. By the mystery of speed, restore me restore me for the times i have cried restore me for the years are we together you would have built the house but because someone brought a court case and wasted three years out of your productive life i'd like you to lift your voice and declare by speed by the mystery of speed in the name of jesus let there be restoration of every lost year every lost moment someone is praying Your child would have been in the university but he's still in SS1 because something happened to him. An infirmity at three years of his life. Someone prophesy restoration. I came to Abuja 10 years ago. I came to my city 10 years ago. I would have been 10 times better except that the devourer did not allow the purposes of God to manifest. But I place a demand as that pride here at when women pray the 10th year anniversary i place a demand restore restore time oh god restore passion restore fortunes restore hallelujah hallelujah let me pray for you let me pray for you Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14 please read with me one two read 
so the elders of the jews built and they prospered through the prophesying they did not prosper just through architecture even though they were building the real secret behind their prosperity was not the dexterity of their engineering behind the scene there were voices speaking the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo read on and they built and finished it according to what the command so God spoke it there were brides that came as prophets to echo it and the Bible says the building was built and it finished I know that the prophetic sadly and unfortunately has been you know has become something else in our world people have made nonsense out of it and it has brought a lot of devaluation to the power and the mystery that is enshrined in the prophetic just because there are abuses and malhandlings here and there please do not despise prophesyings your life can step into a dimension overnight because the voice sent not the voice available the voice sent not every voice will bless you they don't have to be bad there were many widows in Zarephath, the Bible says, but to none was Elijah sent. That means he passed other widows on his way to Zarephath and just greeted them because he was not sent to them. We do not speak as men in our own strength. We have established the fact that we do not have the power to change anything. But this is an election of grace and there is a throne that backs this office. And that in honor to that grace that throne can move over your life and change things overnight i pray for you in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god i pray by my god and the one who has helped me every door that stands close towards you in the name of jesus the christ of god i speak to that door Ephata, be open be open in the name of jesus Please help a lady who will shout right now. I just heard in the realm of a loud shout. It's like the power of God just came on that lady. And I'm seeing her step into a ladder. No, no, no. I don't mean, I don't mean a shout like this. This is the power. I know there's, there's this social distancing and I respect it. But this is what I just heard. Like a loud, the power of God just coming on a lady. And this is what I heard in the realm of the spirit. In the name of Jesus you step into new levels in the spirit that's what God is doing in the life of that lady by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus I'm seeing chains on the hands of people this is what the Lord is showing me the Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder therefore I stand in the name of Jesus chains I speak to you I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and in the name of Jesus I declare chains be broken now chains be broken now chains be broken now hallelujah listen the Bible talks about Saul the son of Kish he lost his donkey and for three days they were going around had they not met Samuel they will write a theory that restoration does not happen except that they met this strange being whose word does not fall to the ground and he said leave the issue of donkey go up and I will tell you what is in your heart is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be king over Israel and he said now that you have received this three things will happen to you that's what I want to pray for you on number one the donkey you have been looking for the moment you met me by itself it started going back home let me speak to you I prophesy to the north the south the east and the west by the God of heaven everything that left you provided is still on this earth I command it like the prodigal son to find his way back to your life you lost money in a business I command resources find their way back to your life please believe it believe it in the name of Jesus opportunities lost I call you by the spirit of prophecy in the name of Jesus help that lady please in the name of Jesus
Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. Hold on. Madam, are you pregnant? I'm seeing you and the Lord is bringing I don't know you from anywhere are you is that woman pregnant can I talk to her for one minute is that all right come is your husband here husband come sir you will never forget this 10th anniversary for the rest of your life please stand up stand up madam please stand up sir I don't know you but I want to pray for you Don't worry. I'm seeing you people listen to my message in the morning, listening to it again and again. This is what God is showing me. I want to pray because I'm seeing a complication on this pregnancy. But in the name of Jesus, two of you, the power of God is coming upon you. I shift you to a new level. In the mighty name of Jesus, step into new dimensions. I place favor on your destiny and I move you into superior dimensions in the spirit by the power that is in the name of Jesus please help her and we declare there will be no complication we curse the hand of evil you will give birth safely like the Hebrew women in the name of Jesus Christ number two he said as you return you will find three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and give it to you say favor I declare upon your life as you leave this place tonight carrying this mark of grace upon this ministry let everyone who sees you who is needed in your destiny for this season I compel an encounter I compel a connection in the name of Jesus whoever is holding your job whoever is holding your resources whoever is holding what God said should come to you whoever is holding properties whoever is holding help them please help that lady in the name of jesus i call upon the god of jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind i decree and declare a supernatural connection number three and we'll wrap up you will come to a garrison of the philistines he said whereas you left as a confused person with no discernment having that encounter with god he says it shall come to pass that the spirit of god will come upon you then you will begin to prophesy that means there are things you did not come with today that you are going back with when i came I, something was happening to my dream life no dreams no visions no encounters but just when I came for this conference I returned back with a refiring in my spirit man that in one night my whole night was spent as a revelation of the next level of my life I release dreams I release visions supernatural encounters in the name of Jesus hear me many of you will go to bed tonight and God will come and open the mysteries of your destiny. Anyone here who is trusting God for healing, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, um, I know I, I'm sorry for taking a few minutes, but I want to pray. Please don't feel embarrassed. The Lord is showing me a lady here. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Um, I'm, in fact, I'm seeing a number of people. Listen, please, I want to, don't, don't just, call, I'm not an idol. I'm a human being. But there is a mysterious grace that backs the things that we do. That you are trusting God to stand here on this altar and testify. Please come and stand here. Please still respect the social distancing just, just so that we don't uh, have any problem with the government. There is a strong anointing in this place. 
You've taken the pain and the sorrow away You've given me peace undeniable There's no need to cry cause you're always with me You're my father, my everything day Oh, may my It's a song of victory Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. My dear, madam, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. You. Out of her now. I curse that spirit. In the name of Jesus. I release your womb. Ephata. Be open. I pray for you. We may not have the time. But I want to minister to you. Please listen to me. I'm standing in partnership with the faith of the woman of God in this ministry. And let me tell you, the Bible says surely there is an end. An angel is pouring oil on you. Madam, this woman, I'm seeing oil coming on you. Taking the pain and the soul. In the name of Jesus, please lay, lay your hand on your womb. I want to pray for you. Father, in this 10th anniversary you are opening doors and gates in the spirit and i stand oh god as a privileged custodian something is happening I declare right now by the spirit of grace whatever is responsible for the closing of your womb hear the word of the Lord I speak in the name of Jesus I declare womb be open now and I prophesy to you according to the time of life return with your children male and female according to the time of life return with your children male and female every legal access upon which the devil is bringing this plague i stand by the mystery of the blood and i declare the advocacy of the blood that blood of the eternal covenant speaking better things than the blood of abel i declare that it vetoes every ordinance every handwriting that speaks against you i release you to the realm of fruitfulness in the name of jesus i change every medical report and i declare return with your miracle children in the name of jesus god bless you please you can return back to your seat we have to wrap up thank you jesus now i want to pray i've been i've been given a few minutes thank god for the graciousness and the love of your pastor she's given me a few minutes to just pray for the sick i believe in the miracle ministry i am a testimony of it it's not what i preach is what I experience. I've been at the valley of the shadow of death. I know what it means to experience the power of God. And I just have two or three minutes. I want to pray. You are sick in your body. We may not have, I'm not sure we'll have the time to have them come out. Maybe, well, if, if a few come out and once here is exhausted, then you stand where you are and just lay your hand, lay your hand on um, okay I think it's ushers please help me you can some people may have to stop somewhere so that we don't have here um, we don't have here rowdy don't worry wherever you are it really doesn't matter wherever you are um, the, 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 it's just for convenience that's it it's, it doesn't really make any difference I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit to heal I really believe in real provable miracles this is a notable miracle they said 
not one that is left for argument whether it happened or not that that is nonsense a real miracle is a real miracle provable by science provable by everything and we want to pray ah i'm seeing something that looks like a worm and i'm seeing written on it cancer in the name of jesus i don't know who or what family but any plague that is looking for your body he said a body has thou prepared the body didn't just arrive it was prepared nobody prepares food and finishes cooking and then the whole food is spoiled uh -uh. a body has thou prepared you took time and intelligence to prepare that body let me pray for the sick now who is Jane 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 this I'm hearing a name Jane no the Jane I'm seeing is plump a bit a bit plumpy this is is there somebody like that who is that your I mentioned you yesterday you were not around yesterday you see how God are you a staff in this ministry or something like that because I'm seeing something that has to do with pastor I want to pray for you I was, no, stand up please stand up Victoria who is Victoria 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 uh -uh. Victoria Victoria don't worry I'll pray for you who is from Benway State no, 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 I don't mean where you are coming. Among the victorious. Is there someone like that? Because I'm seeing God is doing it. The, the person is not here. Oh, you are from Benway. I know what God is showing me. Who is that? Come, please, let's hurry up so we don't waste our time. Is there someone like that here? Don't be afraid. Eh? I'm not a false prophet. Not everybody, not everybody is wasting your time. There are people who have gone through the cave of Adulam. They have been thoroughly trained by God. Please don't generalize rubbish. There are people who have paid a price with God sincerely. You understand what I'm saying? So don't just generalize and make it look like anybody ministering is just speaking nonsense. No. Before you believe a man, find out about him. You go and study about him. There is an antecedence to everything God does with people. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, look at me. I'm looking at you, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm not seeing hair. I'm seeing a complete a woman like a man shaves. And you know, the hair of a woman is her glory. I need to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I restore now by the power of the Holy Spirit everything that has been taken over your destiny. This is ah, you are from Benway. Don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing on your head something written. A-L-E-K-U. Aleku. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everything that is an enchantment, look at what is happening to her. I cut it off from your life now. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God. Agnes. 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 I'm hearing a name, Agnes. Agnes let me just pray for the sick we have to hurry up Agnes where are you are you married where is your husband I'm not a prophet of doom but I rebuke obituary you will not be a widow you, you, you understand what I'm saying I hope you are not embarrassed I'm not saying please understand what I'm saying I'm just acting as God is showing me this someone the power of God is going to come on someone now this is the plague of death breaking no look at look at what is happening are you saying you would have had obituary from that whole family look at this look at this these are the people assigned and appointed unto death did the Bible not say to deliver them that are bound this is your Bible that you read every time in the name of Jesus anyone appointed to death I come by the spirit of prophecy and I declare death passes over your life the seal of the blood is upon you death passes over your life
now for all of you who are trusting god for a miracle please whether you are here or you are standing for someone just lay your hand as a point of contact be sure to bring your testimonies and let pastor opie know what god has done in this 10th anniversary but in the name of jesus i declare right now over your life from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet every devil responsible for infirmity i declare in the name of jesus be healed now be healed now my dear this lady what's wrong with you yes i need to i see okay i'm looking at you and in the realm of the spirit it's not migraine i'm seeing no in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing something like a knife at your back just stuck there and left there this is what i saw you are who you are yesterday today and forever hold on my dear there's no social distancing I, I mean there's social distancing i can't touch you but i want to pray for you look at this precious lady crying let me tell you this if you've never been in pain you may not know the value of a miracle are we together now i thank god archbishops talked about women having the ability to endure pain do you know once upon a time in my life i was diagnosed with a condition that troubled me tortured me there was nothing i could not do or there was nothing i did to to just get healing that didn't work it was a miracle i'm a testament of a miracle in the name of jesus i stretch my hands we represent a government that is superior and i pray by the power of the holy spirit be free from this plague of darkness in the name of jesus i set you free i declare in the name of jesus something is coming out of your back my dear in the name of jesus be healed supernaturally by the power of the holy spirit i curse that devil let there be restoration to you right now in the name of jesus christ uh, I'm, I'm going to pray a general prayer so i leave but the spirit is compelling me your husband's name is adams is it adams also your husband's name he bears a name adams i don't know whether you're here or online but i'm hearing this in the name of jesus i declare that the the plague of delay over that man's life comes to an end now I speak to everyone who is sick in body be healed right now be healed right now from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus be healed right now in the name of Jesus be healed right now I pray for your spiritual life whatever has eaten away your prayer life whatever has destroyed your passion for God whatever has destroyed your love for the things of the spirit i command restoration now in the name of jesus please god bless you you can go back to your seat while i speak to everybody in the name of jesus by the time this conference comes to an end may there be a strange manifestation in your life praise the lord i've received a request by your pastor to pray for all those desiring marital settlement you don't have to come out where you are just lift your hand it's not enough to marry in this wicked world you don't need the kind of marriage that will make you admire your singleness you need to marry well and marry happily hallelujah the bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter let me tell you this by the grace of god I've read many books about marriage by the grace of God I've had the privilege of meeting with people who are experts in this subject and they have communicated many things I think it was early this year a lady sent me a text and said since we don't go around looking for husbands what is the real key to bringing my husband I told her I said favor and divine connection no matter how virtuous you are you can't ask yourself out 
you can't marry yourself out and you can't go around saying i'm ready it will take what happened to rebecca to happen to you it will take what happened to esther to happen to you the bible is named after two women and it has to do with marriage ruth and esther and the bible is careful to show us where they started from and how eventually they got married to noblemen and in both cases it was the connection of the spirit and favor i believe in favor in the name of jesus the bible says male and female he created them i pray for everyone here if you need to work on yourself to be a virtuous woman grace for you first to work on yourself in the name of jesus christ but then i pray for you by the spirit of god some of you it looks like it's too late but i pray you will not see december 25th single yeah. hear me any man who is in your life now wasting your time and you don't know the name of what you are doing i break that relationship from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus and I introduce you to a noble man born again filled with the Holy Spirit serious and committed in the name of Jesus and if there are families here with covenants and yokes that prevent fruitful marriage I stand in partnership with the grace that is upon pastor Opie and every servant of God here and we declare that those foundations are crushed right now there is a foundation called the foundation of the Lord. It says, nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standeth sure. I declare that you stand upon that foundation. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracle marriages in this ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. And even though pastor did not request it, we live in times now that are quite hard. And people have gone through a lot of financial situation. I have to pray I know you are a giving ministry you love giving but I want to really speak you only it is such as you have that you give so the first assignment is to really have that you give are we together there are many people who have the hearts to give but you will need that grace now the challenge that has happened in the body of Christ is that people have been have received the theology that advocates laziness and people don't do anything just waiting for prophecy prophecy is only useful when other aspects of the kingdom system are kept like diligence like productivity are we together prophecy is barren when it stands alone the validity of prophecy comes only when we play our own part when we are diligent we turn our value to products and services that are needed and useful then the prophetic can become an advantage but make no mistakes about it there is wealth by prophecy and by a prophet the lord brought the nation of israel out of egypt and by a prophet they were preserved this is the advantage we have as those who are in this kingdom therefore in the name of jesus i decree and declare over the works of your hands and over your financial situation in the name of jesus the one who lifts the one who honors the one who prospers the one who can compel men to bless men in Jesus name may the Lord set you at a new level financially some of you will need supernatural ideas that will come upon your mind some of you will need connections that will give you fruitful jobs some of you will need strategic relationships that connect you to your place of breakthrough some of you need the God to just ward off spirits that make that waste your resources some of you need to be connected to people who have intelligence enough to help you secure your resources. And some of you need a direct miracle. Isn't it amazing that there are times God sends ideas, but there are times we need bread directly. We don't need our farm to prosper. There are times we just need bread directly from heaven. And God shows us in scripture he can do both. He can prosper your farm. But there are times that he can send manna from heaven because of the urgency of the need he is that benevolent i declare both seed and bread let it come to you by the power of the holy spirit the bible says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things the bible declares that you abound to every good work 
the sufficiency that will make you abound to every good work let it come upon you in the name of jesus christ pastor opi thank you so much and your dear husband i honor you and i celebrate when women pray congratulations on the 10th anniversary again in jesus
Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.